take another live look outside right now. This is our camera at the Natural History Museum of Utah. It's looking a little hazy, very easy to see that. Utah mm. is moving into what is projected to be a hotter, also drier summer than usual. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with the Healthy Environment Alliance of Utah about what they are calling summer's invisible pollution and the impact it can have on all of us. Unlike the very visual pollution we see here in the Beehive State during the winter months, this summer ozone pollution is something that some say flies under the radar. This is the pollution that we're calling the invisible summertime pollution. According to Heal Utah, the formation of this type of pollution is directly tied to sunlight, where it peaks in the hours between 4 and 7 p.m. Maysay Gonzalez with Heal Utah points to two other main contributors for this type of pollution during the summer. Just like the winter, it's our vehicles with the exhaust and emissions, something driven by the fact that our population here in Utah is continuing to grow. The other, Gonzalez says, is our buildings. Buildings aren't as, I want to say, disposable as cars. We kind of have uh, going through cars through our lives, where buildings, we kind of stay with them for quite a while. And a lot of these buildings end up emitting a lot of emissions just due to being out of date. During a presentation earlier this month by the Department of Air Quality during the Clean Air Caucus, they say some of the pollution can be attributed to the fact that 90% of the state's population lives on a little more than 1% of our land. They went into detail about how bad the pollution was in 2021 from June through September. When we look at uh, last year in particular, you can see that for both ozone and fine particulate matter, we had many days that uh, were, were not only over the standard, but in some cases almost double the, the federal air quality standard. It's something those like Gonzalez say is having a wide reaching impact. A lot of these numbers are showing that uh, air pollution is shortening the lives of a lot of Utahns. And it's actually even becoming a reason why people are moving out of our state. Heal Utah points to several ways to cut down on this kind of summer pollution. This includes anything from carpooling when possible, using public transportation, to even finding ways to ride a bike or walk more often. Well, Gonzalez tells me they got a $200,000 grant from the EPA last week, something he says they're putting toward a study with a scientist at the U to put some air quality monitors on buses. The hope being that they can compare some results from different communities and how it's affecting them. Overlooking downtown Salt Lake, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.